Let's not get any uh, up the ass shots today, Tom. We had to uh, do some editing. <laughs> yeah. I was leaning eventually, and oh, I was yeah. like, "Scoocharoo!" Good Thursday morning, everyone. Today I'm joined by the very lovely Chaps. Chaps, good morning. Hello, Liz. No, I guess you didn't really want to say good morning to me. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, topic number one, according to multiple reports, incoming running back rookie Darius Geis was asked by an unknown NFL team if he likes men. Chaps, is this appropriate? Absolutely not. May a thousand blossoms bloom as far as I'm concerned. Each man is entitled to his own sexual proclivities. Here's the thing, is that being a gay man in the workforce is very similar to being a woman in the workforce. And let's be honest, gay men a distraction, women a distraction. This isn't about being anti-gay. This is merely about wanting to run a business and keep a calm and tame locker room. Look at what happened with the Seahawks yesterday. They cleaned house. Distractions. Distractions. Boobs are distractions and men liking other men also distractions. I like genitals. I like genitals as well. <laughs> I like them in my hands. Yeah. I like them in certain parts of my body. I like them in my blogs. I like some in your blogs. Mm -hmm. You like coconuts that look like genitals? I do. Mm -hmm. That's Fond important. of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fond of those. You like to cover your genitals with uh, condoms for mm -hmm. whatever reason. You're married, don't really need it, but. Yeah, and wax. Wax oh. too. Oh, I didn't know the wax thing. Yeah, we talked about it on the radio, I think. I think I missed that. Colin show. Did a little wax talk on the condom show. Oh. Yeah. I guess I wasn't paying attention to everything you were saying. My That's bad. fair. My it's common. I mean, I'm yeah. used to that. Look, condoms and pennies. I, I got the two most important things out of that. So. True. Being gay is wonderful. It is. Mm -hmm. Topic number two. It appears that both Fox and ESPN are doing their $10 million march towards Peyton Manning. All that to say, is Peyton Manning the best looking of the Manning brothers? Absolutely he is. I mean, when you see Peyton Manning come across the screen, you just want to jump his bones. He doesn't even just look like a snack. He looks like a tall bucket of water that you just want to take the longest, coolest sip of. I love Peyton Manning and everything about him. Let me ask you this. Do you find this attractive? Yes. Well, then you and I have very different levels of attractiveness, and there's really nothing else I can say about that. I'm disappointed in your taste. Peyton Manning would. Over Eli? Yeah. On the real. On well, the real. I mean, on the real. Because usually when you're talking about this kind of thing, you're talking about Eli or Peyton. On the real real, it's Cooper Manning that could get it. Cooper Manning. But he's also the shortest. Because you know he has that wide right? receiver he hits. Shortest. He has the wide receiver hips from back in the day. So he's probably a little more fluid in the bedroom. If I'm getting down with a Manning, it's really going to be Cooper. It would be Eli for me. Yeah? Yeah. I just feel like he looks like a, a very kind person. Yeah, he looks like a, like a toddler that was just stretched out. Yeah, and then not to say that I'm attracted to children because I'm not attracted to children. Well, that was kind of problematic. <laughs> but I feel like Eli would take care of you. Yeah, he seems like a you giver. Know? Yeah. And I think, feel like Peyton would like throw you against the just wall. Just start doing and, jingles and shit. Yeah. 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 And, the and then his forehead is just so large that I don't know if I could see anything else. But he's always spending $10 fight. million. Dollars. He's going to get $10 million to announce football games. You'll always be rich. He does like to have a lot of sex. That's true. We know that. Fact. All right, topic number three, and this is by far the most terrifying of any of them. Uh, Amazon's Alexa is apparently showing up at inappropriate times during the day, uh, talking about funeral homes, cemeteries, and laughing um, like a little demon. So, chaps, are robots going to be our demise? Definitely not. I like robots. I wrote a blog this week about fucking robots and going to a robot fucking factory. If I'm willing to have sexual relationship with the robot, I don't care what they say because part of having a relationship is being able to listen. Clearly Alexa's is talking about that and wants to learn to listen and not just how to have sex. Hmm. I got to be honest with you. I read this and I am fucking terrified and never in my life have I been more grateful that I'm very uh, technologically inept and backwards because I don't want some fucking robot in my house popping up and talking to me about funerals and cemeteries. You don't know what Alexa's doing with the other Alexas in the world. What if there's some sort of like crazy conspiracy and all of a sudden they pop out legs and they come and they slaughter you. I was terrified of Chucky when I was a little girl. Fucking terrified of Alexa as a grown up. 
I mean, Alexa really does like pop into conversations. Like I'll be sitting on my bed talking to my wife and then next thing I know, Alexa starts talking. I can't do that for you right now. I'm like, what are you talking about? No one said your name, you fucking bitch. And that doesn't fucking terrify you? No, it does. Like, and I always see, you know those videos where you see- you I can't put, believe this happened to you. You should put electric tape like over your computer camera. I always don't want to because I don't want to be paranoid guy because I feel like the moment you put that tape on, you're paranoid. But I'm kind of paranoid about it and I'm paranoid about not having the tape because I know Alexa, I have like three Alexas and three Google Homes in my house. So people are listening to everything. I'm sorry. Like, how do you, how does this happen and you still have it in your house? Are you genuine, like aren't you genuinely terrified? Well, I can't get rid of it because I blog from home and my dog like licks his nuts so loud. <laughs> So when I'm sitting on my bed blogging, I just say, okay, Google, play white noise. Because I don't want to tell him to stop because he clearly enjoys it, but it gets on my nerves. So I just tell Google to play some white noise and it gets rid of that. So really it's the dog's fault. Yeah, definitely the dog's fault. But I don't blame him. I mean, he doesn't have, he has two things in life that he enjoys. Three, one, hugging me, two, licking Fair. his balls, three, staring directly into the sun. He sounds like a really intelligent animal. He's the dumbest creature ever, but the best dog ever. That's I brought your gift. Oh, let's go. He didn't forget. I didn't forget. I'm giving you <laughs> from the infamous picture to put on the shelves. I feel like it's very appropriate. You know that we have to keep it, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'll just go to the merch room and grab another sweater and it'll be totally fine. So here you go. I mean, but your oh, honor, sir. Here we go. Right down there. The infamous tan sweater that lit up a thousand tweets. More than a thousand. Yeah, I feel like it's that's a gift that people will remember me by. It's the gift that keeps on giving year round, Clark. I mean, can we play out music from Coco, like the Remember Me song? Can we make that happen, Tom? We'll here make we, that happen. All right, lovely. We'll make that happen. We'll what figure what it a out. Wonderful little segment. Thank mm. you for having me on. Thank you for being on, Chaps. I will forever remember that sweater with Me too. sadness, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Me too. We'll see you later. Though I have to say goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you. Each night we are apart, remember me.